Okay, well, I'm still working on this uh, long-running blocking oscillator project that Magnet Man uh, uh, got me turned on to, and he took one of my old penny oscillators here that's made out of uh, twist tie wire, and he hooked up a Duracell rechargeable, and it's still running after three years. And so I thought I would try to replicate his project and study why that did what it did. And I don't know, guys. I don't have any idea why it's it's his is still running after three years, unless it's somehow picking up energy from this house or nearby power cords or whatever. Um, I just don't know. Um, I've got this running here at about 30 microamps, and at 30 microamps it might make it, but uh, the other thing that I don't know about this is his is at 1.2 and this is uh, running at about 1.3 because of the charging and the slow discharge and I'm just thinking as this battery discharges down the amp draw might be dropping down on his so that the longer this runs the less and less the amp draw is so we're just going to have to wait and see I'm, I'll uh, monitor it from time to time I'm going to put it over on that bookshelf and then I'll be able to watch it every day and um, you can tell when the battery starts going down, you can start to see the blink on this. This circuit um, is timed by this, uh, the voltage in this capacitor right here. And of course, uh, these coils. Now, see how I have 100 UF chokes here? Well, that's what I did here. Uh, instead of the coils, I put a couple of chokes right next to one another and got this to do the same effect. And then I put one of these 20-year... Um, shelf life lithium um, non-rechargeable energizer batteries on it and it's just uh, on the underneath side there I put the date on it when I start I started this on the first and this one here runs at a lot higher amp draw and I might get several months out of it at that brightness you can see the difference between that LED and that LED over there uh, that's a lot brighter. I have it running at a, a higher amp rate to get more light, but I like these things. They're like night lights, and uh, they're not good for flashlights, but they make a real nice night light. And of course, if you put a solar panel on this uh, near a window, this would just keep right on going, which might be the next part of the project. But anyway, this is the uh, circuit diagram really for that one there. And on this one here, um, you notice I have a potentiometer here. It's the same circuit, but this is a potentiometer. And these are these twist tie wire uh, coils. It's the penny oscillator. And I've given links in past videos to that, that oscillator. Um, on the uh, circuit diagram for the penny oscillator, there was a capacitor here. And uh, the reason I had the capacitor, I was, I was testing it was very, very low. Uh, amp draw sources so the capacitor electrolytic capacitor helped this thing work when you put a battery on it you don't need that and that's why there's just a battery here for, uh, for the battery operated ones you just uh, use the battery on it but anyway that's the project right now I'm still working on it and that one there was the one I'm going to be looking at probably in the next couple of months to see if that dies or if somehow that keeps on going because of the drop off in the, the uh, discharge curve, the amp draw should be dropping off. So if this starts running into the longer and longer term, I think the reason Magnet Man's is still going is as that battery drained, the amp draw kept dropping off. Uh, other than that, it might be getting some sort of a back feed into it somehow, some way. That's what we got. Thanks for watching.